Burnley 1, West Ham 2. West Ham go to fifth in the Premier League table and keep our Champions League hopes alive. It was a very good performance by West Ham, despite going 1-0 down. It showed the character of a David Moyes team that to keep going, to keep plugging away, and we fully deserved the win, and we should have scored by more. We've got a tactical board here, because I want to talk about some individual performances today. Um, regarding some players because there were some very good performances there was some kind of performances such as Diop who didn't really have the greatest first half but he was a lot better in the second half and we'll talk about the first Burnley goal because we know the kind of football team that Burnley are Burnley are a team that get along their back line and they want to try and hit the target men really really quickly can they get it to Chris Wood can they get players around Chris Wood and then go from there and what Burnley's done really, really early was they they isolated Diop. That's what they done. They isolated Diop. They knew that he was probably the weaker at the two centre-backs. And what they started doing is they started putting balls into, into these areas. And Diop had to run back towards his own goal, which come with the first goal. And then he gets absolutely skinned. He looks like he actually does quite well. He goes to Grand. Looks like he's forced Chris Wood out wide. Then he gets too eager. He jumps in. Chris Wood lifts it over, over his head. And Suchek fouls... fouls um, Chris Wood in the box and he scores the resulting penalty kick. And then they've done it a couple of times in the second half with Vidra, who um, ball played in behind from Westwood. Diop running towards his own goal and Diop made me very nervous in that first half. When everything was getting played into the channel and he was running, he wasn't too sure how to deal with it. You know, should he go and attack the ball? Should he let the ball bounce? And I don't think he was very assertive with his decision making in that first half. However, I do think as the game progressed, especially in the second half, he was he did get a lot better. We stopped Burnley getting the, that ball and trying that ball down the line, which they really, really done well in that first half. And they done it with Vidra, as I said, that got cleared off the line. Dawson, thankfully, at the back stick, cleared the ball off the line. However, let's talk about West Ham because in that first half, the, the attacking football that was on display was absolutely fantastic. Now, we knew, you know, that going, in this, going into this game that we were going to have lots of possession. Mark Noble was injured and there was a lot of talk. Who should play CDM? Should we bring four nails into that role? Should we play Lanzini there? Should we give Connor Coventry a go? And what Moyes done, actually, is he played Lanzini. And I wasn't actually anticipating Lanzini because, obviously, I would have, I would have, I was expecting maybe four nails to drop a little bit deeper. Bowen to, Bowen to play on the right, Lingard and Ben Rama. But he did go with Lanzini. And we'll talk about Lanzini's performance because I thought he was absolutely brilliant today. And I think Lanzini today showed in this game that if we play a team that are less superior or a team that, uh, that are going to set up deep against us, we're going to have lots of the possession, then Lanzini can dictate from deep. And one thing I love about Lanzini, when he really gets going, the best Lanzini that we saw a couple years ago before he got that big injury was he can glide past players. He uses his body very well to sort of get himself out of holes and get himself out of tight situations. That's what he did. He'd let the ball run across, and next thing you know, he's played a ball out wide and he's opened up the pitch. And I thought Lanzini today, just controlling the ball in these areas today, just getting the ball here, bouncing it to maybe Lingard, the ball would come back to him, and then we'd go and move. And I really, really love that with, with Lingard, just um, with Lanzini today. Just keeping it ticking was really, really good for Lanzini. And I thought he played really, really well, dictating the ball from deep. And now let's talk about Thomas Suchek. Because Thomas Suchek today, you know, we, apart from the first half, when I think he got in the box once or twice... You know, he he had to. He realised that he couldn't go as forward as much because with Rice next to him, next to him, he could go and be a little bit more adventurous in the box. But he was very good. Apart from the fact that he did give a penalty, his general play was very, very good. Another solid performance. Dawson, I thought with Dawson today, I thought he was actually pretty good. I thought, you know, despite the fact that the last couple of games he got sent off against Newcastle, he's got a couple of goals. I thought. Dawson was pretty solid today. A good 7 out of 10. I really thought that he was good. So foul. So foul was brilliant. And his movement was because of four nows. And with four nows, he, he, he worked his absolute socks off. And the thing with this formation, there was great rotational play. We saw Ben Rama sometimes drift in here. Lingard in here. You see, you know, Lingard out what on, on the right-hand side. You see four nows on the left. And when you've got lots of players that are very comfortable playing inside or playing on either flank, you can see rotational play. And we we really saw that in fruition today, especially in that first half when we were playing some delightful stuff. When we were getting the ball with, you know, Fabianski, there was multiple times the ball would be with Fabianski. And I think it was um, the Ben Rama shot that just went what uh, went 
wide where Antonio ran in at the back stick. But essentially we set up like this. Lanzini was the one that collected the ball from here. And next thing you know is we're Ben Rama's here. Fornells is on the right hand side. Lingard's here. Suchek is sort of in sort of in the middle. But he sort of just plays the ball out to Sue Fowl. Sue Fowl's carrying with the ball. And it's just fantastic play. It plays it into uh, four nows, plays it into Ben Rama. He hits it wide. And some of the fantastic play we saw today was because of the fact that we were playing very, very well on the on in the in the wide areas. I thought so foul, four nows, someone who regularly tucks inside. You know, he's a right foot, he's not a natural wide player, is he? You know, he's not a natural winger that's gonna get on the outside and put a cross in or come inside and whip one in the top bins. He's not that kind of wide player. He is essentially a central attacking midfielder playing out wide. And what we saw today was that at times he would tuck inside, and because Burnley were playing a 4 4 2, it would overload the central areas. You know, the, the two Burnley midfielders, Westwood and Cork, would think, you know what, we've got to try and pick up Lim Lingard, we've got to try and pick up, you know, the deep run from Suchek and Lanzini, but then also Ben Rama cutting in from the left, Fournell's cutting in from the left, and that allowed so much room for Soufal to get into these positions time and time again where you can put a deep cross in or a first time cross and that was from where one of our goals come from it was a fantastic ball Antonio attacked the ball it's a fantastic goal 2-1-1 uh, and with the second goal again it was fantastic play from West Ham you know I think we we the first 10 minutes or so, we sort of stood down to Bernie's level in terms of we we're playing a lot of hoofball. We weren't really controlling the possession, controlling the tempo. But as the second half went on, like the 15 minutes till half time, West Ham really sorted themselves out and started winning the second ball, started maintaining pressure on the opposition. And it was really good to see. And that's exactly what we've done. We maintained push pressure on our attack. We got the ball out wide to Ben Rama. And it's a fantastic delivery by Ben Rama. He, and, and sometimes with deliveries, you know, if you if you look at the best defenders in the world, it's not right. Let's try and hit that man. It's all about can you pull it in an area? And that's what Ben Rama's done. He's put it in such a good area, right? He's put it in such a good area of, of the box that if Antonio did not touch that ball, that ball was going into the bottom corner and Ben Rama would have got his first West Ham goal. That's how good the ball was. Let's not think about putting the ball to Antonio. Let's put the ball into a, a space that is very hard for Burnley to go and defend. And let's hope that Antonio anticipates that ball and attacks it. And that's exactly what he done. It's a fantastic finish by Antonio. It's a fantastic ball by Ben Rama. And it was a great, great team goal in general. Now, if I was going to criticise one, one thing from this performance, because we were very good today. We were, we were very good. It was a lack of composure again in the final third, a lack of decision making. You know, the amount of times that I spoke about, well, not that I spoke about, but I just mentioned about West Ham winning the second balls. And in the second half and sometimes in the first half, we'd get ourselves in fantastic counter-attacking situations where we're sitting a little bit deep. Lanzini or Suchek would pick up the ball on the second phase, on a second 50-50 um, ball, we'd pick that ball up. It then gets to Lingard, and Lingard's driving at the defence, or Fournals is driving at the defence. And when it got to this part here, we seem to we seem to lose sort of our composure and decision making. The amount of times where maybe we released the ball a little bit too early, and we should have carried on with the ball, and then allowed the Burnley defender to try and you know attack the player that's got the ball, which allows the space for the on uh, on coming player to put the ball in the back of there. And that was the only frustrating thing with West Ham's performance today is that we didn't score more. And the amount of times that we got in those good situations where it was a three v two or four three three, and we had the numerical advantage over Burnley. And we either chose the wrong pass or the pass that, you know, we did make, it just wasn't quite good enough in the final third or we done it a little bit too early. We didn't really do it at the right moment, at the right time, at the right moment. That's probably the only critical thing I have regarding that performance because generally the whole team as a collective were very, very good. Cresswell played a very good game at left back, you know, coming from a hamstring injury, very, very good. Diop, as I said, very nerve. I was very nervous, especially when they were putting those channel balls and he had to run towards his own goal. But he played, he played, he played okay towards the second half. Lanzini, I thought, was excellent. Ben Rama had played a very good game, getting an assist, unlucky not score. Lingard, you know, I don't think it was one of Lingard's greatest games, but he done the simple things right. He done the simple things right. Whilst he didn't score or create anything crazy, um, he done the simple things right. Four nows, you know, very, very good, you know, in terms of supporting so far. The amount of times where, you know, this this would become sort of a four-three-three. 
um, out of possession. You'd see Fournals tucking a little bit here. Ben Rama would be, you know, a little bit wider, and then Fournals would run out to the, pos uh, the the Burnley left back to apply a pressure along with Sue Fowl. So Burnley don't get a two v one situation. Um, on West Ham's right back, so foul. So I thought Fournals was very good, but I do think sometimes, again, his decision-making in terms of, and that's not just Fournals, I think, you know, Antonio as well, Lingard, Ben Rama at times, I thought, you know, should we have made better decisions just around about here? You know, should we have made better decisions? And I think we should have, but generally it was a very, very good game from West Ham and David Moyes got absolutely spot on and I absolutely loved it you know, that we've won this game. But the manner we won this game, you know, we went 1-0 behind, you know, in a big game. We had to win if we're going to get Champions League. And we rolled our sleeves up. We showed what we're about this season. And despite not having Rice on the pitch who's a leader, despite not having Noble, you know, and players that are 50, you know, not 100% fit, and despite not having Ogbonna, who's another rock at the back, we got through this game with with work rate and we played, played very, very well, Played very well. And it's absolutely, I'm absolutely buzzing that we can go now into Everton and I think a win will secure possibly top six or maybe I'm wrong, completely wrong about that. But I'm pretty sure I've read somewhere like West Ham need top two wins from um, from the remaining games get to get into Europe. So guys, hit the subscribe button for more videos. I'll catch you next time. See you later.